Hello everyone, dear friends. I am Bluey with you, and today we faced a very unpleasant problem, and I think it's worth telling you what this problem is. Anyway, my dad is up very, very early today, and usually he sleeps with mom, but as he says, he fell asleep with her. But when he woke up, he found that she wasn't there. He decided to explore our whole house trying to find her, and unfortunately he couldn't find anything, not even a clue. That's why he ran to our room and told us about it. Of course he woke us up, and he told us what it was all about. My sister and I were very surprised, because this had never happened before. But there is another factor that aggravates the situation. There's a virus in the city that can turn creatures into skeletons. And that's why I think we need to find our mom as soon as possible to avoid a lot of trouble. Even though there's a vaccine for the virus. While my dad and my favorite sister Bingo continue to explore the house and prepare to be with in the search already in the city, I decided to explore our neighboring houses because while a little time has passed, I believe that it is possible to explore in the nearest places, but there is actually another reason for this, which is that when searching in the houses, and even better different, you can take something in your head and remember. For example, if we want to make repairs in our house, then surely we will remember something, or remember and can, of course, use it. The house is quite interesting. It's made of sandstone. Sandstone and wood is actually an amazing combination, because sandstone is quite fragile, and it can collapse. But here, it's even the walls are made of it. Maybe it's been reinforced somehow. But there's also a passage to the neighboring house. This house is already made of much stronger materials, like white marble. But this house is actually quite empty on the inside, and I'm not very happy about it. This means that there are no clues here, and we all need to move on. In the meantime, I decided to do some shopping for my favorite mom and pop stores. You can just tell by them running from one to the other this store. Unfortunately, it's completely empty. Also, all the racks here are empty. We should, I think, move on. This is more interesting. This cafe, with books, which you can take and read in case of emergency. My mom really likes this store. She loves books. She really, really likes to read them. But unfortunately, it's also absolutely empty here, which amazes me because this is one of her favorite places, and she, judging by the smell, or rather its absence, did not even come here. So we also move to the next place, but here I will not even go in. It is absolutely empty. It's actually surprising. I have no idea what could be here, but this place is more interesting. It's got a very interesting floor, not made of green and yellow blocks. I also decided to explore one of my wife's favorite places in my favorite place. This place is a huge pool that very, very often hosts various competitions. And we actually went to a lot of them, which is why I decided to go here. I would also like to point out that we even had a season ticket for a year, and we went here to do all our friendly family, but unfortunately, the water periodically odor interferes with his nose, and it can negatively affect the search. That's why I decided to climb up here, in order to have a great visibility and I could safely watch this pool from above. Well, unfortunately, from the looks of it, it's not here, but why the fact that they're there from the inside suggests that it's in some place very close to the water. I will have to communicate this to my entire family so that they have an understanding of where it is. My children's mom and searched all similar places or places where water is used. Oh, something tells me that my mom is very close to this place and I hope it turns out to be true. I am now, just so you understand, dear friends, on the grounds of a water park that is located in our city, and it also borders the water. I immediately got the idea to visit it, and especially after my beloved dad said about my mom being in a place where water is used. This water park is actually very nice. There are a very large number of slides. There is also a notable, incredibly large wide slide with a very, very sharp and fast descent. Have you gone through the main entrance now? and I decide to go straight in at the top, the slide, walking carefully along the very edge of the slide. 
I'm actually very dangerous, and I wouldn't advise anyone to repeat what I'm doing, but I'm doing it for my beloved mom. Well, you're my favorite mom. I finally found you. It's amazing. It got dark on my way up here. But I see you've become a skeleton, and that's really too bad. That's okay. The doctors have already come up with the necessary vaccine to treat skeletons and restore various creatures to their former appearance. So you certainly don't have to worry. You have made us understand that you will still remain for us the same beloved mom, whom we will love, whom we will take care of. You heard that daddy bought you some food, but now I think it is best for you not to eat. So we will wait until you are cured. Of course, at the hospital, we'll be visiting you all the time, carrying various yummy things that you love, and we'll also be sure to bring your favorite books so you'll have something to do there. And of course, to make the time while you are being treated and not with us fly by as quickly as possible. I hope you really enjoyed this video, dear friends. Put likes, write comments, and of course, subscribe to this channel until soon. Hi guys, while my parents are sleeping, I really want to go to the mine and find beautiful stones as a gift for my parents. My parents used to tell me that I should stay at home at night because at night outside the house, there are very strong and evil monsters that can harm me. This is the mine I was talking about, which is not far from the house. Wow, very interesting what kind of monsters they have blocks in their hand. Ah, he's beating me. Mama and Papa save me. I don't want to die. He Good morning, family. It's a new day. But for some reason, our son is not in the house. My wife ran to find him. I hope he is safe and sound. Daughter, stay home and don't run away. Oh no, I hope our son's okay and we find him safe and sound. Let's hope he's just out for a walk. Oh my God, I see him lying by the mine and he's not moving. Let's hurry up and hope we can help him, honey. I can't and I don't want to believe he's dead. Oh no, 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 my boy, we couldn't protect him. It's unbearable. How will we go on without him, without our son? I, get, I feel so powerless. We have to do something. It's not fair. He was our baby. How are we going to deal with this? Why, why couldn't we protect him? He was always such a brave and kind child. Now he's gone. We have to find out what happened. We can't just let it go. These monsters, they must not go unpunished for what they did to our son. We have to figure this out, not just for us, but for Bluey. He deserves truth and justice. Yeah, we have to figure this out, not just for us, but for Mike. He deserves truth and justice. We will do everything we can to keep his memory pure and honored. Maybe we can figure out a way to resurrect him, but in the meantime, we need to get him to the church to see a priest. We'll get through this, I promise you. Daddy, Mommy. It's so scary, Bluey. He's too young to die. Why did such a terrible thing happen? We can't lose him. I can't believe he left us so soon. We were always so close, so ready to support each other. May his soul know our love and our prayers, Dad, Mom. Bluey was our shining light, and even in this difficult time, we should remember him with good memories and love. My child, we all feel that pain and regret. Bluey was so dear to us. May his soul find peace, and we remember his kindness and bright memory. We will stick together as a family, Emily. We can find comfort and support in this holy place. Our love for Mike and for each other will help us through this weight of grief. We are all in shock and grief. We came to church to pray for his soul, to say goodbye to him, and to find the strength to get through this. We will be together in this difficult moment. This is a great loss for all of us. There are no words that can ease this pain, but we must get through this together. Our family's strength and faith will help us move forward despite this difficult loss. But I promise to resurrect him no matter what it costs me. I have a friend, Alex, who would be happy to help me for a favor. I will be sure to meet her after the ceremony. Alex, thank you for being here. This is such a difficult day for me and my family after losing Bluey. What is that book? What does it say? Getting Bluey back, it's what we all want, but is it really possible? Thank you, Alex, for this. I pledge to do everything I can to try and bring him back to us. Thank you for your help, Alex. We'll start working on it right away. Hopefully, we'll have enough strength and faith to face all the challenges on the road to reuniting with Bluey. 
Thank you very much, Alex. I will definitely help you in exchange for the resurrection potion. I will kill this dragon just to have my son with us, alive and unharmed. Luckily, I know how to build this portal. You need to arrange the blocks three by three and leave the center empty. And also, in these blocks, you need to insert the eyes that you gave me. I really appreciate your care and support of our family. I really appreciate your concern and support of our family. As soon as I build it, I will go to the other world to fight the dragon. I promise that I will fulfill your mission, Alex, and return to my family safe and sound. The long battle with the dragon was difficult. Despite all the dangers, I managed to defeat him. Its breath of fire, its mighty roar, all that is now behind me. Now it's time for me to return to the normal world and get a reward for my bravery. It's also time to meet my wife and use the resurrection potion that Alex will give me. This fight was very difficult and I can barely stand on my feet, but what you cannot do to keep your son alive and well. The portal that allowed me to pass through new worlds and trials must now lead me back home. My family is waiting for me and I must return to them. I can't believe I've completed this task. Every time a swirl of color and energy surrounds me as I pass through the portal, I feel like I'm about to return to the normal world where my loved ones are waiting for me. Alex, I've returned. This is an amazing moment after the battle with the dragon. My family is waiting for me, but before I go to them, thank you for this resurrection potion. It means so much to me. Thank you, Alex. I pledge to do everything possible to make this potion beneficial and help bring my son back. Now it's time to get back to your family. Hooray, you're finally back. I hope you're okay. I heard that the fight was very, very difficult. I see that Alex gave you the potion. You really did a great job. I'm very proud of you. To be honest, it seemed to me that Alex is very strange, but she fulfilled her promise and gave you the potion after the fight with the dragon. At least for this, she is already worth respecting. My dear wife, we are standing by the coffin of Blue Eye together again, preparing to use this resurrection potion. I believe it will help bring our son back to us. This is a moment of hope and faith when we are ready to perform a miracle in Mike's rebirth. May our hearts and prayers direct this potion for the benefit of our family. Let this potion bring the blues to us. May the strength of our family and love give him the opportunity to return to us. Bluey, we're with you. You did well. I hope you did everything right. Now, as Alex told me while we were waiting for you, we need to send you home and spend the night. In the morning, Bluey will have to appear in his bed. So after we have done everything necessary, we will go home and wait there until the morning. Bluey, my boy, you're back with us. It's incredible. Our family is united again, thanks to the miracle of resurrection. We are so glad to see you. It's really a miracle, Bluey. Our family is full of joy and gratitude for the returned membership. Miracles still happen when we believe and follow our hearts. Hooray, Blue, my beloved brother. I'm very glad to see you again. I really missed you while our dad was fighting to get the resurrection potion, and now you're here with us again. It's just fantastic. It's really a miracle, Bluey. Our family is full of joy and gratitude for the returned membership. Miracles still happen when we believe and follow our hearts. Mom, dad, and sister, I'm here. I feel great, like nothing happened. Thank you for your love and care. I'm so glad to be back with you. Thank you all for your faith, for your love, and for the opportunity to return to your family. Together, we will be able to overcome any challenge. Thanks to our connection and each other's support, I promise not to leave the house at night without your permission anymore. Yay, we're finally back from school now that we can safely play Minecraft. Yeah, you're right. We can finally play our favorite game after we're done with school and back home. I can't wait until we build our first house in this wonderful game, collect our first resources, build beds, and chop trees. The good thing is that after boring lessons, we can play this very interesting in which we're so many possibilities and have a good time. So let's finally get started and build our first house. What a cute sheep stalking up under that tree. Too bad you have to break it down to get the materials you need. Our first house, we will need a lot of wood. So now I will get it and hopefully my sister will get the material to make a bed so we can sleep at night after we do all the rest of the work. It's good that we've sorted out who's going to do what in this game. It will save us time and get us closer to our goal as quickly as possible. To chop wood faster, I need an axe. But I want to save every resource to build a bigger house. 
how lucky we are that there are a lot of trees that I think will never end, and we can build a huge house and also make a lot of useful tools for it. Next to me are so many bleating sheep, not all of them. I will probably need them a little later to make wool beds for me and my little sister. I've missed her already. I hope she's doing something really useful and we meet soon. While I was running with my brother, I noticed a small island on which there are sheep that we will need to make a bed out of their wool. Unfortunately, I don't have scissors to shear them yet, and I have to beat them to get the coveted wool and meat that we will need to not be hungry. We are very lucky with the place because there is so much water around. We can catch fish and eat them, so we will never be hungry. And food is very important here because if we lose health, for example, if we fall down or get hit by some monster, with the help of food, we can restore health, and with it, we will not be prevented from extracting the necessary resources. It's so good that I went swimming. I really like to swim. After I get home from school, I really like to swim in the backyard pool. It's so relaxing and you get very clean. Now I have to get back to my brother because I'm done getting wool. Hope he didn't miss me. Hi, brother. We finally met. I got the wool to make our beds and I hope you got the right amount of wood and found a place to build our house. Sure, sis. You bet. Look at this place. At first glance, it may look like it's too deep, but I think it's a great place to build a house because it's got a lot of resources and there's a lake next to it where we can fish. Just be careful, hold on to me and please don't fall. By the way, hurry up and follow me. I wanna show you something while I was getting wood. I noticed this sheep so we can use it to breed them and get wool. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad I have a smart brother like you. Let's check this place out some more. I already see a lot of resources that we will definitely need in the future, but to get down, we will need a stone staircase. I'm glad you found such a great place. But we'll need rocks for the stairs. Let's get them. Sis, I know where we can get stones for the ladder while I was collecting wood. I found a small mine, so follow me and don't be afraid of anyone as you can take shelter in it from the rain. Wow, look at the wonderful flowers in front of the mine. I'll be sure to give them to you for your birthday. Thank you so much, you're so sweet. I'm so glad you found this mine. And I'm glad you liked my surprise. Now watch me break these stones. You will definitely need it in the future to improve our house where we will defend ourselves from monsters and store our resources. It may sound boring, but it's actually necessary. As soon as I was out of the mine for a while, I was soaked again. Finally done. Let's go. I'll give you the resources and you build us a ladder. Finally, we've reached the mine and we're going to build our house. Hold on to me and be careful not to fall. Wow, sis, you're so brave. I'm already scared. I'm actually afraid of heights and I wouldn't want to fall from here, but I'll definitely stay behind you. Brother, when you build a ladder, the height doesn't really feel that high and that's great because I'm afraid of heights too. Look, brother, don't worry. We're almost down, and if you get hurt even a little bit, I'll make sure you're healthy, because it'll be easier for the two of us to survive. Thank you so much for taking care of me, sis. I realize we're almost down, but I'm still a little scared. Don't worry, look at me. I'm almost done. I've only got a couple blocks left, and I'll make a step for you so you don't fall and get hurt. Yay, sis. Good job. I never doubted you. Now let's see how deep we are. Wow. I'm happy with my work, too. Thank you for complimenting me. Now, sis, I'll go build a house, and you please catch us some fish for dinner. I'm so glad that my sister has entrusted me with such a responsible task. I'll take care of building our common house so that we have a place to sleep and defend ourselves in case of emergency, as well as store resources. Wow, I just made planks out of logs, but for more complex builds, I will need a workbench. The boards will be very useful to me in building the foundation of the house as we were taught in school when we studied the structure of the house. The foundation of a house is a very important part of its construction because it will determine how strong the house will be 
and how long it will stand. I hope my little sister has made it to the lake and is fishing because I think I'm getting hungry and I hope she is safe and sound. It is also very important to leave space in the foundation walls for the future doors so they will go out in two directions, to the resources and to the stairs so that we can climb upstairs faster. The walls will protect us from the wind and monsters. After I finish building the walls, I will start building the roof so we won't be bothered by the rain while we sleep. How wonderful is it that in this game I can break an extra pickaxe without losing a single resource? Now it's time to decorate the house a bit, and it will also strengthen its foundation. After I do the strengthening, I will have to climb a bit higher to complete the roof. I hope my little sister, when she comes back with the fish, will be very happy with the new house. Also, I think she will like the roof very much, because the rain will not be able to get inside the house and we will be dry. I'm a little bruised but I won't tell my sister about it so she won't worry. I can also build the roof from here. Well, here is the final part of building the roof, respectively the house. After I finish it, I will need to remove unnecessary parts. I finally finished building the roof and removed all the unnecessary details. Now I will be sure to build us a door so that no one can get into our house. I'm a little hungry because of the energy I put into it. I hope my little sister's around. I'm sure she'll love our first house. Oh, I think I forgot to put a block over the door to keep us from blowing in. I'll fix that. Yay, I can't believe I finally built it. I love doing such demanding tasks. Now I just have to wait for my favorite sister. Now we have to build a bed so that we can sleep on it and rest and regain our strength while the monsters search for victims. It's nice that my little sister gave me the wool that she collected on the island while I was getting us wood. Yay, I built a bed for me. Now I'm gonna make a bed for my sister. Oh, where should I put it? I'll find the right place. Yay, I just found a place for my sister's bed. Good thing we have plenty of room in our house. Hooray, Bluey! I'm so happy you've built such a wonderful house. You're doing a great job, and I brought us some fish. You must have worked hard and been hungry. You did a great job. I'm very happy with you, bro. I hope you didn't miss me. Keep the fish. For your great work, you deserve it. Thank you very much, sis. I'm very happy that you like my work. I hope you are well. I missed you very much. Please rate your black crib again. I tried hard. Now, while my sister is resting and regaining her strength, I can mine our resources. It's good that I made a second door for quick access to them, and I also have a wooden pickaxe with which I can mine them even faster. But unfortunately, I can't mine all the resources with my wooden hand yet. In the future, I will have to improve it so that I can mine them. Wow, how beautiful it is here. There is water, which we need to drink it, or to put out the fire. Also, there is coal here, which we will need to build a torch, and the house will always be bright. Finally, after getting the coal, I can make a torch, but for that I need sticks, which we can make from the planks we got earlier. While my little sister has gone somewhere else again, I'll put a torch over her bed so it won't be dark before she goes to sleep and she can do her favorite things. The good thing is that my little sister got a lot of fish and now I can eat it when I run out of energy restoring it after a hard day's work. The torch should be placed inside the house so that we always have light and can study at night and it should be placed outside so that it is easier to find our house at night. Mom? Dad? Bingo! I have an idea. You know that horrible, evil, bluey family that's always trying to mess with us? I think we need to figure out a way to protect ourselves from them. And I know what to do. We need to build a super duper secure tower. Imagine, tall, sturdy, with thick walls and little windows. We can make a viewing platform on top so we can see when they're coming. Inside the tower, we can store all our toys and valuables. There will also be food and water supplies there in case the evil family decides to lay siege to us. 
And you know what the best part is? We'll have a secret weapon in our tower. We can make water cannons out of garden hoses or a catapult that will launch stuffed animals. We could also make traps with paint or slime so they get dirty and don't want to come back. I know it sounds hard, but we can do it. We can ask Grandpa Bob for help because he's so handy. All right, Bingo, ready for the big build? Today we begin building our impregnable fortress. And if the evil Bluey family tries to trespass, they'll be the worst. Okay, the first step is the foundation. Obsidian is the perfect material. It's as strong as rock, and it's not afraid of fire. And with the evil family, it's best to be safe. Come on, Bingo, bring in the blocks. One by one, neat and even. The foundation has to be perfect, or the whole tower will collapse. We don't want our hard work to go to waste, do we? All right, the first row is done. Now the second, third. Look, Bingo, our tower is beginning to take shape. Soon, it'll tower over the courtyard like a castle. Oh, careful. Don't drop the block or it'll break. Obsidian is strong, but it won't survive a fall from this height. Ugh, it's hot. The sun is blazing. Why don't we take a little break? Drink lemonade, rest in the shade, and then we'll get back out there. Look, Bingo, I think there's someone coming over there in the distance. Is that the evil Bluey family? No, it's just me. It's just Mrs. Groff and her dog. Okay, break's over. Let's get to work. We have so much work to do. Walls, windows, roof, observation deck. And of course, the secret weapon. Can you imagine, Bingo, how we'll fight off the evil family? Water cannons, catapults, traps. They'll be sorry they ever messed with us. Oh, children, you're so good. Look at what a great tower you've made. Obsidian is a great choice. It's so strong and sturdy. But you know what? I think we can make it even better. Daddy, please bring the iron blocks that were left over from repairing the fence. They'll make our tower impregnable. Iron is no joke. It can withstand any attack. Let's reinforce the walls, especially the lower rows. The evil Bluey family will probably try to break through them with something heavy, but they can't do that with iron blocks. I also think we should make a roof. We can't leave the tower open in case it rains, can we? Or the evil Bluey family starts throwing nasty things up there. I have an idea. Remember that old greenhouse we took apart? There were some glass panels left over. They'd be perfect for the roof. The glass will let the light in, so the tower will be bright and cozy. It's also strong enough to withstand small impacts. Daddy, help me lift these panels. Careful, don't drop them. Glass is a fragile material. That's it. That's good. Now our tower is safe from rain, hail, and even the evil Bluey family. Good thinking, dear. Iron blocks are just what we need. They'll make our tower a fortress. In the meantime, I'll get to work on the roof. The glass panels from the greenhouse are perfect. So, let's see. First, we need to make a frame of wooden blocks so that the panels will hold tight and won't fall down. Bingo, can you hand me a hammer and nails? And a saw, too, to cut the timbers to size. Careful, Bluey, don't get too close. There's splinters and sawdust flying around. You'd better help your mom with the iron blocks. Okay, the frame is ready. Now we have to carefully place the glass panels. The main thing is not to break them. Glass is a fragile material. Careful, careful, that's it, great. The first panel is in place. Now the second, the third. Look, Bluey, it's a beautiful roof. Bingo, be careful. Don't step on the edges of the panels, they might crack. Mom, what about the door? We can't leave the entrance open. The evil Bluey family could get in and ruin everything. I have an idea. Do you know that old iron door from the garage? It's just the right size, and we need buttons to open and close it. We can make them out of old toy cell phones. Daddy, can you help me take the door off its hinges? It's so heavy. Okay, now we have to attach it to the tower. Bingo, hand me the screwdriver, please. All right, the door's in place. Now the buttons. The red one will be for opening and the green one for closing. That's it, done. Now our tower is a real fortress. With strong walls, a glass roof, and an iron door, the evil Bluey family won't get through. Now our tower is a real impregnable fortress. With strong walls of obsidian and iron, 
a transparent glass roof. Wow, Bluey, that's a deep moat you're making. The evil Bluey family won't be able to jump over it. You know what would make our defense even better? Spikes. Remember when you and I used to pick cacti in the desert? They have thorns so sharp and long, it's scary to look at. Can you imagine if we put them all over the moat? The evil Bluey family wouldn't want to step on them. Let's go to our secret warehouse. I saw a whole box of thorns. Oh, and I have an idea. We can paint them in different colors to make them pretty, like red, blue, and yellow. That way, the evil Bluey family will see the surprise from afar and won't even be afraid to come near our tower. Okay, let's divide up the work. You keep digging the ditch, and I'll get the thorns and paint. And don't forget the paintbrushes. Oh, and we'll need gloves so we don't prick ourselves. Wow, that's a lot of thorns. Enough for the whole moat and more to go around. The evil Bluey family will be jealous of our beauty and ingenuity. I can only imagine how surprised the evil Bluey family will be when they see our moat of thorns. They probably won't even realize they're thorns and will think we've grown cacti. Look, look, over there on the horizon. See, it's the evil Bluey family. They're coming to our tower. Don't worry, guys, we're ready for them. Our tower is a fortress, and they can't take it. We have strong walls, a glass roof, an iron door with secret buttons, and, of course, our secret moat with thorns. Ha, 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 they're so clumsy. Careful, Bingo. Keep your head down. They might see you. It's better to watch them from around the corner. Look, they're approaching the moat. I wonder if they'll realize it's full of thorns. Ha, ha. I don't think so. They're so sure of their strength, they don't even look under their feet. First to go, looks like the evil Bluey family isn't so evil, more like stupid. Well guys, it looks like we've won. Hi guys, today we will be competing between parents in building a secret base, after which we will be sure to rate each one. What do you say to a secret base building competition? Let's find out who's the really cool builder in our family. That sounds exciting. I'm ready for this challenge. Let's show the parents that our team is undefeated and capable of better builds. Yeah, let's do it. What if we add secret passageways and encrypted access devices? That would make our base truly unique. Hey, kids. I don't mind participating in this exciting competition either. Let's build a base that would make even spies jealous. We can add garden elements to camouflage the base and traps to protect it from unwanted guests. Let's transform our backyard into a place of true adventure. I'm ready to join this game too. Let's have a family building contest to show that we have a real talent for creativity. Let's also add a communication system so we can stay connected and coordinate our work. Our base will be a true masterpiece. Today, our family project begins with my hands and my ideas. I'm standing in front of the empty space outlined for our future home, and I already have a clear image in my head of what my sister and I will create. It's not just building, it's creating a corner of family warmth and comfort where every detail will be filled with our inspiration and love. Pile by pile, I am hammering in the foundation of our future home, feeling each hammer blow bringing us closer to our goal. It's not just earth and sand, it's the foundation upon which our family history our team, our one and only home will stand. As I gaze into the distance, I see my sister begin to dig a hole for the pool, and the sight fills me with a sense of shared labor, a sense of creativity that unites us in this project. We are acting as one, each contributing, each step directed toward creating, not just a base or a pool, but a place where joy will resound, where laughter and fun will be present where our most joyful moments will be stored. Every hole, every pile, every detail of our future home takes on meaning and significance. We are not just building walls and a pool. While my brother is busy building the foundation for our future house, my task is to create a swimming pool, which will become a unique decoration of our coziness. Taking a shovel in my hands, I start digging a hole, 
imagining how great it will be to splash in this water after a day of work, enjoying the calmness and freshness of the water. Every bucket of earth I dump out reminds me that I am contributing to a common cause, that our family project is becoming a reality because of our mutual labor and effort. The feeling of satisfaction of creating something with your own hands is unrivaled. Every step I take brings us closer to the completion of the project, to the time when our pool will be ready for use. I envision us spending time here together as a family, enjoying our shared labor and creative process. The pool will be a place where we can escape from the hustle and bustle, relax and enjoy a moment of rest. Every stone, every shovel of earth I use to create the pool fills me with a sense of responsibility and joy. This pool will become not just a part of our home, but a symbol of our family interaction, our ability to work together and create beauty around us. Thus, every touch of my hands on the soil, every movement of the shovel, brings us closer to the completion of our family project. The pool will be a place of joy, fun, and inspiration, where we can find solace and joy in our cozy corner of family happiness. Construction is not just physical labor. It is building a foundation for the future. It is the embodiment of caring for your family and wanting to create comfort and coziness for them. Today, I start digging the ground for the foundation of our future house, and each clod of earth gets its own meaning and its own value in the creation of this special place. Every brick wall, every corner of the house will embody my concern for our family, for the safety and coziness we will all enjoy. The sound of a shovel loosening the earth reminds me that each stroke is a step toward our common project, toward creating what will be the foundation of our family happiness. With each new bucket of earth I throw out, I feel the building process affirming our place in this corner of the world. This is not just a house. It is our haven, our refuge from the cares of life, our place of joy and well-being. Laying each floorboard is not just a process. It's about laying the foundation for our future steps and movements in this home. I strive to make this floor not just comfortable, but to fill it with our care, our warmth and kindness, so that every step we take on this floor reminds us of the importance of family bonds. This floor will become not just a base for our walks around the house, but a symbol of the warmth and comfort we all create together. My work is not just about laying a floor, it is about creating a part of our family world where every detail has its own meaning and significance. Each brick, each layer of concrete becomes not just a part of the building process, but a symbol of our family unity. I feel that my labor is not just a job. It is caring for our future, for our dreams and hopes. The process of building walls brings me a sense of strength and confidence. Every brick, every corner that I create becomes a pillar for our future moments of joy and happiness. I see these walls not only as protection from winds and rain, but also as a symbol of our inner strength and cohesiveness. Installing windows gives the house not only visible structure, but also mental harmony. Each window is a gateway to a world of light and warmth that we will share together as a family. My dream is that our windows become not only a source of light, but also a symbol of our desire to share a sense of coziness and warmth. In every effort, every movement, I am awakened with a sense of responsibility and pride in being able to build not just a house, but a personal space where we will all find our place and our joy. Building is not just physical labor, it is a creative and personal contribution to creating a place where we will all feel at home. Thus, by laying the foundation, building the walls, and installing the windows, I am creating not just a house, but our common history, our common dreams and values. This house will be not just a building, but a symbol of our unity, our love, and our desire to create a place where we will all be happy and protected. I hope our house will be more beautiful because of the pool my sister made, and the base will be more secure and hidden than our parents. Brother, your work is very good. I have no doubt that our work will be better than Mum and Dad's, and we will win this competition. In every move, in every moment, I put my energy, my care, and my desire to create a place where we can grow and develop together as a family.
As I lay each brick, put up each window, I think about our competitions with our children, about who will create the best secret base, the children or us parents. The walls of the house surrounding our lives become not just building blocks, but a symbol of our support, our unity, and our belief in family values. In every effort, in every moment, I wonder which of us can create a more amazing place full of mystery and mystery. My children and I act as competitors, but at the same time, we are a united family whose goal is to create not just a base, but a sanctuary where there is room for each of us, for each of our dreams. As I build walls and install windows, I am immersed in thinking about the significance of our family project. Each element, each step of construction is an opportunity to realize that the strength of our home is not only in its construction, but in our relationships, in how we work together, how we solve problems, and how we create a shared future. So while building walls and installing windows, I realize that the winner of this competition is not who builds the best base, but who can create a place of love, understanding, and support. And I believe that our base, being filled with our interaction and family spirit, will be the best, not just in the game, but in real life. Today I decided to join my husband in building the roof of our future home together. Lifting each board, installing each rafter, I feel our family project becoming more and more real. It's not just a roof over our heads, it's a symbol of our protection, comfort and warmth that we are creating for our family. Together my husband and I are laying the roof, reflecting our shared desire to build not just a house but our dwelling. A place for each of us, for our dreams and hopes. Every nail, every detail becomes part of our labor together and our family pattern. How together we create not just a roof, but a shared shelter over our heads that is filled with our love and endeavor. As we continue our creative inspiration, we begin to furnish the interior of the home. By laying flooring, arranging furniture and decorations, we give our home our individual imprint making it a unique and cozy place for our family. Each interior detail becomes part of our history, our memories, and our shared space. We then decide together to install a passageway to a secret base so that our home becomes not just a place to live, but a place of adventure and family secrets. As we move confidently toward this task, we build not just a door, but a symbol of the possibilities and new horizons we are ready to explore together. I am pleased to see my wife actively joining in our work together and helping me build a passageway to the secret base of our future home. Watching her put her efforts into every detail with such zeal and skill, I can't help but feel pride and respect for our work together and our family bond. So by building the passageway to the secret base with my wife, I am not only creating a functional element in our home, but also strengthening our relationship, our mutual understanding, and our family unity. Together, we are building not just a door, but a symbol of the new opportunities, secrets, and adventures that lie ahead of us. I am excited to accept my sister's help in installing the floor of our future home. Working together, we are not only creating a functional flooring for our home, but also strengthening the bond that binds us together as a family. Every effort, every movement in this process reminds me that working together and helping each other are key components of our family building project. As I lay each floorboard, each layer of flooring, I reflect on the significance of this action. The floor is not just a surface for our feet, it is the foundation upon which we will build our lives in our new home. It will be the place where we will share joy, fight through challenges, and build our dreams together. As we are in the process of installing the floor, I am contemplating our secret base. Not only will this element of our home hide secrets and adventures, but it will symbolize our understanding, our togetherness, and our desire to create a place where each of us feels protected and loved. So, as I work alongside my sister to install the floor and reflect on the base, I realize that it is in the little things, the mundane moments like laying the floor, that the essence of our building process together lies. Every step, every detail, is not just part of the interior, but a reflection of our relationship, 
our care for each other. Honey, here we are finally finished building our house. How about we make a trip to the kids' house and see what they've done in the meantime? Of course it's a wonderful idea, dear. I'm sure our boys haven't been idle either. Let's go over there and see what they've managed to set up. I am incredibly happy to see my wonderful children. Their smiles, their sincere eyes, their lively energy fill my heart with such joy and pride. How much I love them, how much I want to hug them and thank them for what they are to me. Watching them play before my eyes and watching them laugh and have fun, I feel that my life is filled with meaning and joy. But what I am especially intrigued and mesmerized by is your secret base. I am so incredibly eager to see this place where they make their fantasies and dreams come true. I want to show you, my parents, the results of our joint labor. Our house, which has become a place of comfort, warmth and happiness. Every detail, every corner of our house contains our dreams, our hopes, our desires to create a place of love and comfort. Every element of the house reminds me of our common efforts, our mutual understanding and our family bond, which gives me strength and joy. I look forward to seeing our base and to taking in the atmosphere of secrecy, wonder and inspiration we have put into this place. Here we are at our secret base, very excited to show it to you, as we worked very hard with Bluey to create it. You know, when I look at our secret base, it's like I don't just see walls and objects, but a whole world of possibilities and imagination. It's a place where I, along with Bluey, make all of our dreams and fantasies come true. And even though we are ordinary children, here in our base we become the creators of our own unique world. Please take a look inside our base, parents. Here we have built an amazing space where every detail matters. Let me tell you about every corner, every device that Bluey and I have worked so hard to create. Here, behind these glass doors, you'll see computers that have become not only tools for play, but also a source of learning and inspiration for us. We used them to learn new things, to create and develop our ideas. Every key, every screen was an opportunity for us to find new horizons and expand our knowledge. And these beds, they are not just a place to rest, but a place where we build our dreams in our sleep. Here, in this zone of coziness, we find peace and are energized for new creative feats. Every pillow, every blanket is a part of our relaxation and dreams. And of course, pay attention to this closet. This is where we keep our most intimate things, our secrets, our favorite toys. Every closet, every drawer is a part of our world, our order and our system. And lastly, let me tell you about our very special device, the back door. It leads us to amazing places and unexpected adventures. It is a symbol of our desire to learn and explore, to make new discoveries and opportunities. Parents, walk with me through this base, every corner, and you will see how our love, our creativity, and our desire to share it all with you is embedded in every little detail. In our base, Bluey and I find our own little corner of happiness and inspiration, and I'm so happy to share it with you all. You really managed to impress us with your secret base. I can feel how much effort you put into it. Your dad and I really like this base, but how about we get out of here and walk to our secret base? Ah! How I look forward to the moment when my gorgeous wife and I get to see the secret base that our children have so diligently and lovingly created. I feel excitement and joy in anticipation of this introduction to their creation. Every time I think about our family base, my heart fills with pride for my children. They carry out their ideas with such enthusiasm and skill that I just can't wait to see what it all looks like in reality. My wife and I have long dreamed of shared time in this unique place where their fantasies and our family inspiration are realized. I'm sure every corner of the base will be filled with surprises, mysteries, and bits of our home warmth. Our dear children, gathered around, this is the moment when we will finally present you our secret base. Daddy and I have put all our inspiration, our ideas, and our love into it. 
and there is no limit to my happiness, showing you this miracle we have been able to create. First, here's a glimpse of that back door, the place where the mysterious adventures just begin. It leads us to corners of fantasy and mystery, to a space where new paths and possible worlds open up. It's a place where every step is a step into the unknown, where dreams become reality. And here, a huge dressing room, where every piece, every dress becomes part of our imaginary world. Here we can change our look, create images and try on different roles. It's a place where we can be whoever we want to be, whenever we want to be, just by taking the right outfit from this magical place. And how about this twin bed? Here, in this corner of coziness, we can enjoy family moments, talk, read books together, and share our thoughts and feelings. It's a place where we can be closer to each other, where we can spend quiet time in shared harmony and love. And of course, don't forget this magnificent library full of books and stories. Here we can immerse ourselves in the world of words, discover new treasures of literature, and travel through time and space. It is a place where every book is a new adventure, where we can learn about the world and ourselves. Everyone in our house, friends and family, today I want to bring our secret base contest to a close. This day was filled with joy, creativity, and inspiration, and now I am proud to announce that both secret bases, the one our parents created and the one my sister and I created, both won this competition. We were amazed at the creativity and passion we saw in both bases. Secret passageways, cozy nooks, huge closets, twin beds, libraries, and so many other elements were all part of the amazing world we created in our home. Each base reflects our dreams, our ideas, and our feelings. And they have become not just places to play, but real symbols of our unity and family harmony. I want to express my sincere gratitude to our parents for their participation in this competition. Their creativity, passion, and love that they put into creating their base was a source of inspiration for us all. Thus, let our secret bases be a symbol of our family warmth, creativity, and understanding. The winners today are not the bases, but our family as a whole, our unity, and our mutual inspiration. May this victory remind us all that together, with love and passion, Oh yo 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 dad, what happened to my mom and my sister Bingo? Why did they have such big bellies like they are pregnant? What should we do now? It's very unusual to see this. I'm very worried because I don't understand where they came from and what it all means. It does look interesting. Maybe they ate too many pies or maybe it's part of some secret plan of theirs to take over the universe with inflated bellies. Maybe they should announce their new abilities and become the heroes of this world. It feels like they swallowed the whole watermelon. <laughs> well, who knows what they have in mind? Maybe they've done some mysterious ritualistic act and now they've gotten supernatural powers with those inflated bellies. Maybe it's just yoga balls and they've come up with some more advanced exercise and it's their new fitness idea to keep themselves in shape. Who knows? Anyway, I plan to make a house for them to keep them in order. Please get some wood and make a workbench so I can set it up. I already see a good place for it. As an adventurer in this wonderful world, I realize the importance of resources, caring for our safety and comfort in our gourd shelter. I head towards a forest full of tall trees and green foliage. Each blow on the trunk fills me with a sense of satisfaction at the work I have done, the resources I have gained that will help us improve our abode. Wood is not only a building material, but also a symbol of our ability to create, build, and protect our interests in this virtual world. And it will also help my father to build a house from scratch and furnish it as we need to protect my sister and my mom. I'm very worried about them because I can't understand why they have such big bellies. I start thinking about my mom and sister's big bellies. Their inflated bellies seem like a mystery. However, they always have their own logic and explanation. Perhaps it's some new yoga or fitness technique that helps them maintain their health and fitness. My mom and sister are always open to new ideas and experiments, and I'm sure those inflated bellies are hiding something amazing and useful. Here I am, the father of this amazing family in Minecraft. 
facing the mystery of my daughters and my wife's inflated bellies. These enlarged bellies are like a riddle, like a signal of something bigger that we can't yet unravel. Maybe it's part of their new plan or a sign of some change in their health or well-being. It's always interesting to watch our loved ones take on new challenges and put their ideas into action. In addition to this mysterious mystery, I also decide to take on building a house. With the wood my son has collected, I begin to turn my ideas and concepts into reality. Each block, each reinforcement of the house becomes not just a structural element, but a reflection of our family values, our warmth of home, and our willingness to support and care for each other. As I build the house, my thoughts still revolve around the mystery of inflated bellies. Perhaps it's a new diet, exercise, or just a play on words hinting at something unusual that lurks in the minds of our ladies. We have always been supportive and understanding to each other, so I'm sure it won't be long before we find out what's behind this mysterious stimulus. With each block of wood laid, with each brick delivered, I feel our home becoming not just a structure, but a shelter for our hearts, a source of peace and joy for the whole family. Building a house for me is like a symbol of building a solid foundation for our happiness, our well-being, and our common future in this exciting virtual world. I have finally found a deep mine full of valuable resources that we will need to furnish our home and improve our lifestyle here. With every successful pickaxe strike, every ingot found, I can feel our base growing stronger, our capabilities increasing, and our future becoming brighter and more secure. As I extract ores and resources from this mine, my thoughts revolve around the mysterious inflated bellies of my mother and sister. These unusual transformations of theirs make me curious and concerned. Could it be some new strategy for survival, magic, or just an unusual fitness experiment? But I'm sure they have their own reasons and plans that will soon become clear. As I gather unique materials from the mine, I realize that every ore, every crystal, and every ingot is not just materials, but the keys to our development, to our creative and building ideas. This process of resource extraction is not just an act of labor, but a manifestation of our ability to adapt, to create, and to take on the challenges this virtual world presents to us. Thus, I continue my quest deep into the mine, gaining resources and wisdom from each treasure trove I find. These resources will become the foundation for our new projects, for improving our home, and for our overall prosperity in Minecraft. With each block of stone, each ingot of iron, I can feel us all getting closer to our goals, our dreams, and the new discoveries that will help us go further in this world. These inflated bellies are part of a mysterious puzzle for me. A symbol that hints at something unusual behind these unexpected changes. Maybe it's a new approach to self-care, fitness, or even a magical transformation. I wonder what might be behind it, and I'm ready to solve the mystery by supporting my loved ones in their strange explorations and experiments. In this fascinating world of Minecraft, where anything is possible, these inflated bellies become a symbol of mystery, creativity, and wonder. And I can't help but wonder if they are leading us to new discoveries and adventures beyond our ordinary understanding. Take a look, dear ones, at this amazing ocean house in Minecraft. What an amazing place to live, overlooking the vast sea and the sounds of the waves that take us far away. This is an amazing place, my dear family. In this house, we can enjoy beautiful sunsets, swimming in the ocean, and the comfort of home. It is our corner of tranquility and harmony in this virtual world. We can collect seashells, watch dolphins playing, and spend time outdoors enjoying the beautiful view and breeze of the sea, as well as fishing. I am glad that our home brings us happiness and inspiration. Here we can create beautiful memories, spend time together, enjoy moments of joy and peace. This house will become not just a place for us to live, but also a symbol of our unity and love for each other. We are happy that we can share this beautiful moment together. Our house by the sea has become a place for us to be ourselves, where we can be energized by nature 